Oh, they're playing with each other. Oh, we just caught up with the Angama Pride, and I spotted something with our thermal device up ahead of them. But I can't quite work out what it is, but it's something that's as seriously got their inten attention. And it's something showing up with heat signatures. There's a lioness right in front of us. What is it? What have they seen? They're getting very close now to whatever it is. It's impossible for me to see. They don't seem to be showing any signs of stalking, though. They're just walking flat out in the road. Now jogging. What has she seen there? And she's going, she's off. I don't know what she's after, but she's off after something. I can hear hooves thumping, but I don't know what it is. There we go, I can see the frightened eyes. And she's dashed up and over, unfortunately, an area that I definitely can't drive in. What on earth were they after? I think they're chasing hyenas. That's what I think they're after, and the hyenas are so close to where they left their cubs. That's what I think they're chasing. They've come racing down to make sure that those hyenas don't even think about being anywhere near their cubs. If you look to the left, then there's another lioness that's coming down. There she goes. She's jogging off after them. These lionesses lead such an exhausting life. They're either hunting or they're chasing hyenas away from where they've left their cubs. It's incredible. They never sleep. Oh. I can hear them growling. All growling up ahead. Let's go and see what they've... Here's some growling. I'm not worried about the spotlight or the headlights because they're not hunting. They're after hyenas. I am worried about that hole though. Alright, let's see if we can find ourselves a good view. This is how I keep losing them. Every time they settle down for one minute, they're racing off after something once again. There's a lioness in front of us, I think. There's something in front of us. Is that a lioness? Yep, and she's going straight back to where they left the cubs. All right, let's go and see if all are fine and accounted for. I'm sure they will be. I think, what is that running in the road in front of her? You can see it looks, that bouncy run, that looks like a hyena. And I think she's just spotted it there. That's not a hyena, that's a hippopotamus. Um, up in front of the lioness, just on the top of the road there, is another hyena. Okay, let's catch up with her. That's why they stick so close to where the cubs are. Even when they have to go out hunting, they make sure that they're within earshot of what's happening with the cubs. Hold on. Bouncy springs. Sorry. Pole. There's a hippopotamus right next to us. Hello, hippopotamus. Looming up out of the darkness. Oh, so much going on. Hyenas, lions. Now I've got to find these lions again. Yes, that is absolutely our intention. Anne says we are going to keep her up all night. I believe that is entirely within the realms of the possible. Okay, now I've lost... Oh, no, I haven't. Is this a lioness here? No, that's a rock. It's a warm rock. That's another warm rock. 
Listen to this. They've chased away the hyenas and now they're roaring to celebrate their superiority and to reaffirm their territorial area. I can see them but they're far too far away. Hello hippo, sorry hippo. Let's not get... Oh, hello two hippos. Let's um, not get in their way in the dark. James, you're absolutely right. I'm just proving this whole thing about how lions are totally lazy and sleep all day. These lions do not sleep all day. There's a lioness. These lions are busy all night. Every time I followed them, they've been busy. Can you see her there? Perfect. Well done, Vim. And now she's going to go and check on her cubs. Chased off the hyenas. Unfortunately failed to catch a zebra. There are so many flashing red dots catching my attention. Oh, I think there's one in the road in front of us. A lion cub, I mean. I can see something. There we go. Off to the left a little bit. There. Here we go. <laughs> Hello, little one. It's okay. Mum's coming to find you. Leslie, yes, absolutely. A pride of lions could go after a hippopotamus. Um, you'd need more lionesses than we have here, I would say. And generally speaking... Oh, sweet, look at this reunion. Or she might walk right past it. And generally speaking, um, they will try and go for injured hippo, ones that aren't feeling particularly well. Or they might actually wait until they have the company of the males. <laughs> bounce, bounce. All the little cubs bouncing out. You're okay. The hyenas didn't get you. All seven present and accounted for. The other three little ones will be safely tucked away. They won't be bold enough to come out like this. Here you go. Let's get a bit closer to them. It's always difficult because whenever you watch them hunt, you're willing them to succeed without really wanting to wish death upon some poor hapless creature. And then you remember all those little hungry mouths to feed and why they have to just keep going. Here we go, guys. Hello. Making little sounds of happiness and contentment. Third faces of the male at the back. They've heard something else. I'm just going to see if I can check. It sounded like an alarm call. It looks like there's another lioness on her way back. I think that's what that is. Yeah. Judging by the way that all of the cubs have dashed off, I think that's a relatively safe assumption. Hey, there's mum. Happy little cubs. All hyenas chased away. And all cubs <laughs> now standing boldly, not looking in any way afraid, now that they've got the protection of mum. <laughs> not even showing up as individual spots with my thermal. It's just one big group of red. Right, now what? Ladies, can't take all of them grocery shopping. They'll get in the way. But at least she's got them gathered together. She knows where they all are. And she knows that the hyenas can't get past her. The rest of her pride mates are split out and spread out around this marshy area. But the 
even with a situation like that for the lionesses, is now they've showed their hand, and everything around this spot now knows that there are lions about. If, you know, the stampeding zebra hadn't alerted them to that fact. But now, their subtlety has really gone out of the window. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. Yeah. All seven there. Settled and safe. And impossible to get to. I think there's another lion off to the right of them. It's either a lion or it's a hippopotamus. <laughs> oh, it's a lion. It's a male lion. So not a hippopotamus at all. Where did you come from? This has been so much fun staying out with these lions all night because it's a constantly evolving reality. He's phlegm and grimacing. Sure, no wonder the hyenas scattered as they did. Let's see if he'll twitch his tail for us and we can work out who it is. Hello, oh, mister. You're a surprise. No wonder you were roaring earlier. in my thermal scope so that I don't make that mistake again still looks like a hippopotamus Angie, yes I do occasionally get creeped out a little bit in the sort of total pitch black of night um, there's some eerie odd sounds every now and again especially when we power down everything to try and conserve battery as we sort of we sit and we watch through the infrared of the camera but everything else is turned off and powered down and then it does, I wouldn't say I get creeped out, but it does become, your, your other senses become very heightened. You're very, very aware of what's going on around you. And your hearing becomes extra sensitive. And I've had a few surprise moments, I think one of which shared with Viam. I think I told you all about that when we, I accidentally dozed off against the steering wheel. And we woke up, Viam actually woke up with a lioness right next to his head relieving herself next to the vehicle. So those moments do happen. But mostly I'm just in awe and incredibly excited to have an opportunity to learn far more about these animals than we've ever had before in terms of being able to watch and follow and sit with them and watch these scenarios play out. Happy cubs. Happy but hungry cubs. Which means that although all is going to quieten down for now, these lionesses are going to try again before the sun comes up tomorrow morning. Let's hope for their sake that they manage it this time. Once again, the male keeping his distance just as he did the other evening. Michelle, you would like to know how old the cubs are. It looks as though, I mean, from what I've seen of them, they look around about six months old or so. Um, there's two generation, or two sets of cubs, one slightly older, one slightly younger. So I put the slightly younger ones at around about five months and the older ones at about six months, give or take. But um, that's not 100% accurate, but that's around about where I'd put them. The youngest ones, I would say, are around about seven, eight weeks old. Oh, it's a marshy area, this. Here you go, girl. Find a nice comfy spot. All those little identical heads in a row. Waiting to see what the night brings, which is, of course, what we shall do as well. So while we sit patiently and wait for the Angamas to recover themselves, we'll say farewell for now and...